Today is an exciting video for me because I finally got the chance to try Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I placed an order right after I saw the Alien palette and I knew I needed it in my life. So let's just jump right in. Uh, first impressions, I have to say, it definitely screams him. Very Jeffree Star. The, even the box that it came in the mail in is pink and uh, all the packing tissue is embossed or printed with his logo on it. I'll start with the uh, Skin Frost. Um, I did get a chance to try it. I went to my husband's Christmas party last weekend and I was dying to use it so I did get a chance to try it. It's, it's gigantic. It is like just to give you a size comparison. Here's a MAC powder. Like so much bigger than I thought they would be. Again, the the actual packaging is pink and nice. And when you open it up, so the one that I bought is called So Effing Gold. Um, I will say it's just too dark for me. I thought it would be lighter. I don't know why I thought it'd be lighter, but I thought it would be more of like a white gold, but it's like a true actual gold. So it's just a bit too dark. I did need to add some like lighter highlighter over top of it on the weekend. That's really pretty. Yeah, the only reason I say it's too dark is that like, I don't know if you can see this on film, but when I move my face from side to side, you can like see a line where it goes on, like you do with eyeshadow. Whereas with a highlighter, if it was the correct one for my skin color, you wouldn't be able to see that. It would just like, it would gleam or pick up on the color as my face moved. As far as formula and stuff like that goes, it's still really nice. I'll continue to use it. I just need to use it in combination with something else. Next up, I bought four liquid lips. I bought three from his regular collection, which comes in this unicurtain and look like this. So I bought um, Calabasas, Unicorn Blood, and Androgyny. And I actually wore Unicorn Blood to my husband's Christmas party. I'll insert a picture here. Overall, I really, really like the formula. Uh, it goes on really smoothly, it's buildable. Uh, it's also um, easy to get off in a good way. Like I could easily put on each color and take it off without any residue or anything like that left over from it. The other nice thing about these are that they're eye safe, so you can actually use these as eyeliners or in your waterline or anything like that. And then the one I bought from his um, holiday collection is called Jeffrey Who, which is this one. I'm gonna go ahead and put one of those on now so I can stop looking like a corpse. So now, I think I've been most excited for and actually haven't opened yet, and I wanted to wait until I was doing this on camera. This is the Alien palette. Even the Unicurtain is cool. You know when you take it out, I'm um, gonna take it out. It's like a soft leather, soft pink leather, or pleather, I'm sure. It's cruelty free brand. So then you just push to the side. So good. Honestly, like the color I was the most excited for, like when I first saw Jeffrey uh, reveal this collection, was this one here, which is Probe. So I'm definitely gonna do something with this today. Uh, um, other ones that really stand out for me that I'm excited to try are uh, Area 51 and Alien. Honestly, this one now I'm looking at this collection in front of my face. Like, this Space Cowboy is so beautiful. I'm gonna do an eye look today for you guys and uh, I'll let you know how I feel about it since it is my first time ever trying any of his eyeshadows. So I'm starting with Pluto. 
And I'm actually going to go into Pluto with my highlighting brush too. Bam. Okay, so first I'm going in on the crease with Gravity. Okay, next I'm going in with Flying Saucer. I'm taking a little bit of Ghost OG and I'm just going to deeper the outer corner. a little more pointed. Okay, next I'm taking some shape tape and I'm just going to cut my crease only about a quarter of the way. Okay, I'm just taking Titan to set that. I'm gonna go in with that same little brush and pick up Probe and put it on the middle of my eyelid. Just kind of sketching it into the start of the cut crease. That is the most beautiful color I've ever seen in my life. It's amazing because it's not quite green, not quite gray, so it really blends that dark gray I put on the outside and the green from above together. I'm going to take a tiny little brush and see if I can just put a tiny bit of alien in there just to blend between probe and taking. I'm going to be a little more. Oh, so pretty. I'm just tucking some Pluto on the inner corner. Okay, for the lower lash, I'm just gonna take Ghost OG on a little ankle brush. And I'm gonna sketch a line softly. Turn away from my eye just a bit. I'm getting smoke around here. And then I'm just gonna take some black hole and tuck it right into the lower lash. Just to deepen. And then I'm taking a little bit of liquid eyeliner. And I'm just going to go back in with my angle brush and take a tiny, tiny bit of Alien and tuck it right here. And I'm going to pop on some lashes and we should be done.
Okay, so that's a completed look. My first time using the Alien palette. Like, overall, it's, 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 the palette works like a dream. Um, it really blends beautiful. The colors are gorgeous and true to what they look like in the palette. Um, my only word of warning would be that um, the, the metallics are soft. Like, I dug in there with a brush, which is why it looks gouged like that. But, yeah, it, don't make the same mistake I did and just be really gentle with the metallics. Um, yeah, it, I personally love it and can't wait to use it again. Uh, let me know what you guys thought about this look. It's a little uh, out there for me. I don't usually do a whole lot of cool colors at all, but not usually greens. Okay, guys, thanks for coming back, and I'll see you on the next one.